We'll get into what we can expect to see on Saturday, but I want to start with first and foremost how huge it's been for you just to be able to be out there and fully healthy this spring. And, and this is your first full spring camp as a starter. What, what a difference has that made? Uh, it's been awesome. I mean, I think last year um, I was kind of under a time crunch to find my groove, kind of just going into the first time team reps and training camp. So, you know, fresh off season, about two, three months, um, starting to really think about areas of focus that I want to get better at um, in spring ball is, is definitely going to help tremendously um, in terms of my growth and, and the growth as an offense. What do you want to get better at, KJ? Um, there's a lot of little things. Number one, just pocket movement. Um, only moving when I got to move. Um, I want to be real decisive. There's, you know, I, I feel as if in this offense it's really complex to the point where you can never really actually master it. Um, in terms of working through progressions, I want to be able to um, read defenses, uh, obviously, as you can always read defenses better, um, but just be more decisive through progressions, getting all the way through progressions, um, not forcing the football and um, trying to be as efficient as possible. Well, this offense, uh, there's no question about it, it's going to look a lot different than it did last year. J.J., Caden Smith, Trent Irwin, all gone. They accounted for 175 catches last year. So I guess I ask you, how is it going with a relatively new or at least different mix of receivers this spring? <laughs> Yeah, it's been awesome. Obviously, that's the first questions everybody's asking, and um, I've been uh, super pleased. I mean, I just starting off with the theme of the young guys, their work ethic's incredible, um, and Mike Wilson and, and Simi Fahoku, and, and obviously um, Colby Parkinson kind of leading the charge as, as the senior guy on the perimeter. Um, you know, the, their effort is, it has been tremendous. I think there's obviously a lot of things we've got to work on in terms of chemistry, which takes a lot of reps, which is also why this spring has been so important um, in terms of a lot of technique stuff, feeling um, certain coverages, the way we like to run certain plays versus certain looks, et cetera. Um, but I think uh, this spring has been a tremendous help in, in terms of getting those reps on tape. Therefore, we have the next two, three months um, when I'll be running player run practices when we can actually use that tape um, as reference point in, in these next two, three months before training camp. You were, you were a team captain last year, obviously a leader on this team, but David Shaw said that you've taken your leadership to a whole new level this offseason. Has it felt that way to you, and has it been something that you've worked on, or is it, it just sort of come naturally after being in this program for four years? Yeah, I mean, I think... Um, you know, I, I define leadership as making those around me better. And I think there's a lot of guy, a lot of new faces on the team stepping up in, in prime pivotal roles um, on both offense and defense. Um, you know, we formulated a team unity council with 11 guys, 12 guys total um, representing each position group, every class, including walk-ons. And, and we've had some really, really important dialogue in terms of identifying exactly um, where we are now, areas of focus in terms of where we want to get better, and then actively trying to pursue that um, with specific goals um, between now and, and the time season takes off. Um, but I think the biggest difference is this is, a, this is a really malleable group. A lot of guys work extraordinarily hard and um, you know they really just need a sense of direction and from there they kind of they kind of take it on their own and um, effort's not a problem so that's always makes leadership a lot easier no doubt about that effort uh, is everything according to David Shaw I know that much all right your non-football sc scouting report um, at least this is what I hear I, I know you're a scratch golfer you're ridiculously good at golf you love dogs you like to skateboard and you are a fair weather Dodgers fan are all of those things true KJ <laughs> I can confirm all of those are true. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. You've been watching the Masters at all? Of course, I have. Um, I'm, I'm pulling for Tiger being a Stanford alumni and uh, was a huge fan of him growing up. And it's nice to see him back, uh, back on top. Love it. All right, KJ, thank you so much for the time today. We appreciate it and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow right here on the Pac-12 Network. Thank you very much. Have a good day.